Professor asked me to give you this. <coughs> All right, Dan, you've come a long way. I'd save if I was you. is launching an all-out attack. Kier says he's made some giant monster that will crush us all. Our only hope is to make our own. And using Kier's embalming knowledge, I think we can. In fact, I already have the head, but I need limbs. Limbs, Dan, I don't care what you've got to do to get them. We must get limbs. <laughs> Now's no time to be squeamish, Fortescue. Just bring me the limbs one at a time. Place them on the slab, and we'll build a monster of our own.
You've won. I'll have my day. And when I do, I'll... I'm 
done a little work on your sword, you should find this a whole lot better. It's enchanted. If it runs out, the spiv will be able to recharge it for you. <laughs> well, we won that round quite literally, didn't we? But we're not out of the woods just yet. In fact, at this very moment, I'm picking up two areas of extreme psychic disturbance. One in Whitechapel, the other... It's like nothing I've ever seen. Uh, it's a pity you can't be in two places at once, dear. Professor, let me go. No, no, it's too dangerous. Well, if she's careful and comes back at the first sign of trouble... Wait. Sir Fortis... Die. You freed me from my tomb. Do not imprison me in another. I wish to see the world, to help in the fight, and I will be careful. Okay, Kira, you go to Whitechapel. Dan, you check out the other disturbance. <laughs> <laughs> 